What's up, everybody? Go Burns going over the latest information that has come out for Mafia 3, courtesy of the official Mafia Twitter page, Facebook page, and one thing I missed a few days ago was an update to the Lincoln Clay case file, so we'll check that out as well. By the way, this and that, both linked below in the description section. But first, I want to let you know about a podcast that I'm part of over at ACG. Now, ACG is ran by one of the best video game reviewers out there, in my opinion, Carrick. He does a fantastic job of reviewing games. It doesn't matter what size, or you know, it could be small games, independent games, big games. He is awesome. He knows his shit when it comes to video games and reviewing them. So I'm part of this podcast called The International Podcast. We did number 15 a few days ago. That is available on Carrick's channel, ACG, which is also linked below in the description section. So if you're interested in really good quality reviews and checking out the podcast that I'm part of, feel free and do so. It's linked below in the description section. So let's go ahead and get into this latest bit of information from Mafia 3 off of Twitter and Facebook <laughs> regarding the Bourbon City Blinder. And I think I've been mispronouncing this. I don't know why. I guess I'm an artard. But anyways, it's Blinder, not Blender, obviously, because of the I. See, Blinder. So we're going to call it the Bourbon City Blinder. By the way, if you're not of legal age to drink, uh, this is not for you. <laughs> <laughs> but it's posted on Twitter, so whatever. And I don't even know if this is actually a real drink or how this would taste, but we're going to go over it anyways because it has a bit of information regarding the history of the Bourbon City Blender. The origins of the Bourbon City Blender, like most alcoholic drinks, is a little hazy at best. The way the local story goes is one bartender was done with a particularly rough shift working in the French ward, looking to unwind, he grabbed the first few bottles he could get his hands on and mixed them together into a mason jar he had sitting around. The bartender was so proud of his concoction, he spent the rest of the night stumbling around town telling everyone of his creation. Word on the street as this simple combination spread and has since become the signature drink of New Bordeaux, with several hot spots claiming to be the home of the original Blinder, not blender. <laughs> okay, so here are the so-called ingredients for the blender, blinder, whatever. One ounce of Humphrey's bourbon. Of course, you know, there's a real-life version of bourbon whiskey out there, obviously. Then two ounces of rum, specifically dark rum. Three ounces of ginger beer. And then, of course, two dashes of aromatic bitters. And, of course, one lime wedge. Wham, bam, you will have your very own Bourbon City blinder. Now, I have no idea how that tastes how potent it is, but I think I'm just going to stick with my hard cider. <laughs> That's my poison. All right, so next is the latest update from the Lincoln Clay case file. So yeah, this is linked below in the description section so you can go over all this. And you can also check out previous updates regarding the case file, the New Bordeaux Tribune, anything revolved around Mafia 3 up in my playlist. So we've gone over almost all this other stuff already, but this I forgot about a few days ago. I completely missed it. The Lincoln Clay case file 001-105G-88C. You think these are all random crimes on any given day in New Bordeaux, but almost every crime was connected to mob activity. Didn't matter whether it was organized crime or was someone pulling the trigger against the mafia. But from the middle of 1968 on, almost everything traced back to the war that Lincoln Clay waged against the Italian mob. So this is the law enforcement desk blotter uh, starting at 6.38 in the morning on the 16th of May, 1968. And of course, all the way to uh, lunchtime, 12 o'clock noon in New Bordeaux, Louisiana. So we'll start off with this one. The first report came in at 6.38 in the morning, which was uh, classified as suspicious. An, an unoccupied vehicle running for at least two hours in the redacted of redacted. The vehicle, let's see, it was a new uh, current, uh, had a broken front passenger window. The owner has been contacted. No witnesses come forward. Then, of course, a few hours later, 10.30 a.m., there was gunfire. Multiple weapons fired in the vicinity of redacted at the corner of redacted. Police arrived at the scene to find 10 dead, 5 injured, with a clear scenes of a firefight. No statements have been given at the scene. 
Then, of course, about 30 minutes later, 11 a.m., there was a fire. Faulty machinery ignited at Redacted, at the corner of Redacted and Redacted, resulting in an explosion and a significant structural damage to a crane. Then, of course, the final report, according to this blotter, was at noon lunchtime. There was property damage, fire, report of a series of demolished fences, and, of course, a downed power line on fire at redacted and once again redacted no witnesses have come forth so this is the latest update to the lincoln clay case file once again this is also linked below in the description section along with how you can make your very own bourbon city blinder along with the inner ingredients and the alleged history revolved around the bourbon city blinder and don't forget coming up this coming sunday ign live presents mafia 3 e3 world premiere Featuring exclusive new footage and gameplay that is happening Sunday, June 12th, starting at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Time, which is 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time in the U.S., or 1.30 a.m. Monday morning, June 13th in the U.K. And Mafia 3 coming October 7th to Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC.